Karnataka war heats up big time. Oldest war horse enters the battle. Devi Gowda breaks silence on India today. Says, won't tie up with BJP or Congress. Will family tensions ruin JDS dreams? Or will JDS play kingmaker again? The big focus on Five Life. Just over a month to go for polling in Karnataka and Deve Gowda, former Prime Minister, patriarch of the JDS, would-be kingmaker, wants to be king one last time through his family, has dropped a bombshell and has, of course, that interview was first and exclusive here on India Today. Day after day, week after week, India Today sets the news agenda in pole-bound Karnataka. Thanks as always for tuning in. We've got a big debate coming up. The headlines first. Bengal continues to be on edge. Fresh stone pelting in Hooghly district. BJP leaders stopped from visiting clash-hit areas. Home Ministry seeks report from Mamta government. Bihar Chief Minister faces flak for attending iftar party amidst all-out rioting and violence in the state. AIMIM chief attacks Nitish over meat party. Nitish Kumar jo hai, unpe koi remorse nahi hai unko, koi taklifi nahi ho rahi unko. Kal iftar ki party mein chale gaye, topi sar par pehen liye, shawl pehen liye. Arey kuch to hamdardi dikhate, gham dikhate. Rahul Gandhi's first reaction after getting bail, he shoots the messenger again. Asked on BJP's charges, Rahul snaps back. Why? Journalist, why pedal BJP lines, he says. BJP is saying that you are judiciary pe pressurized. Why do you always say what BJP is saying? Every time you say what BJP is saying. BJP unleashes its Brahmastra in pole-bound Karnataka. Sources say Prime Minister Modi to address over two dozen rallies in the pole-bound state. Former US President Donald Trump likely to be formally charged with 34 felonies today. There will be no arrest, no handcuffs, but there will be spectacle. A special live coverage from New York City starts 10 p.m. tonight. Karnataka is one of those states like no other. Here, the BJP and the Congress are both very, very strong. And it looks to be that the coming election in just over a month from now is going to be a solid fight and not the kind of one-sided affair that one has gotten used to in different parts of the country. But there is an X factor and that is the JDS. The JDS has been both kingmaker as well as the cat that ran away with the cream, supporting one of the two in a fractured mandate and managing to become chief minister with outside support or inside support from either the BJP or the Congress party. Deve Gowda, the patriarch of the JDS, has now broken his silence in this poll-bound election season in Karnataka and spoken first and exclusively to India today. And he says, we will not do business with anyone. But is that really true? Watch this report. The gladiators are battle ready, with less than 35 days to go for state of war Karnataka. All eyes are on these two men, JDS Supremo H.D. Devagoda and his son H.D. Kumaraswamy. Hoping to be king, they could well be kingmakers in case of a hung assembly. The party patriarch has detonated a massive political bomb in an exclusive interview to India Today. What role do you think JDS will play post-elections? Can we, can we have a post-alliance having between you and Congress party? But there's no smoke over it. Please. 
Is there an understanding between BJP and Congress? The former Prime Minister even alleged a deal between B.S. Yadurappa and Siddharamaiya for the Varuna seat. Dear Yadurappa's son wanted to contest in Varuna. Hmm. Now Yadurappa declared, my son will not contest in Siddharamaiya. What does it indicate? Devagora's comments comes days after his son and former Chief Minister H.D. Kumaraswamy made this declaration on India Today. Do you have pressure from the centre saying come with us? Have they already no, spoken to you? Offer is there. You have already offered? Offer is there. Okay. Everybody offering me. Even Congress is offering? Ah, everybody is offering me. Oh. They know. Okay. Their strength, what is their strength internally, they know. The JDS has dedicated voter base among the Vokaligas that dominate 54 seats out of 224. H.D. Kumara Swami has already been on a statewide Pancharat Niyatra for more than two months. Even if JDS wins 30 to 40 seats, its support will be crucial to the bigger parties for government formation. With Sagai Raj, Bureau Report, India Today. So let's first tell you a little bit about the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats of the JDS. It's the smallest of the three parties in Karnataka, very much a local regional party. It has strengths in the old Baisuru region of southern Karnataka, but it is trying to spread its wings and create a bigger profile for itself in this particular election to put itself in a position where it can dictate terms in the event of no clear majority for either the BJP or the Congress, which is what happened in the 2018 election as well. The strengths of the JDS, the patriarch is HD, uh, is, uh, uh, HD Devagauda. HD Kumaraswamy's statewide yatra is said to have a real impact. It has a dedicated Vokkaliga voter base, which is quite loyal to the JDS. The weaknesses it does not have, like I said, a pan-Karnataka presence. It's restricted to the old Mysuru region. It has less chance of winning an absolute majority, despite what its leaders are telling India today. The opportunity here is it can position itself as pro-change. It's basically going to the voters saying, stop voting for the BJP and the Congress, vote for us. It can also woo city voters because the HD Kumaraswamy has been chief minister on two occasions. The threat is there is a rift between HD Kumaraswamy and his elder brother and former union minister HD Revanna, which threatens to split the family in two. Now remember, the JDS is widely reputed to be a family fiefdom. But the party is trying to kill that image because it could cause serious damage to its battle readiness for this upcoming election. Take a look at the tensions harming the JDS from within and these all have to do with family members. Remember, the JDS is trying desperately to erase this family fiefdom image. It does not like being called a party of dynasts. Number two, Bhavani Revanna who is the daughter-in-law of H.D. Devagauda, sister-in-law of Kumaraswamy, wants to contest from the family bastion of Hassan. Hassan is an uh, assembly constituency where the sitting MLA is a BJP man. Now, H.D. Kumaraswamy has strongly opposed the candidature of his elder sister-in-law, Bhavani. That is Revanna's wife, Bhavani. He does not like the idea because he thinks this will only reinforce the idea of dynasty and family fiefdom of the JDS. Now... If she is refused a ticket, there is buzz on the ground that Bhavani Revanna may contest as an independent. Imagine if that happens. Remember also that the failed debut of H.D. Kumaraswamy's son Nikhil in the 2019 Lok Sabha poll where he was fielded from the Mandya constituency uh, is still a point of pain and tension within the family at this point of time because Revanna's sons are also there. They've been waiting in the wings. His elder son is already a Lok Sabha MP. His younger son is an MLC. But they are all also waiting for their chance at power within the state. I want to go across to Sagai Raj who joins me live now. Uh, Sagai, HD, uh, you know, Deve Gauda, the old war horse of Karnataka breaking his silence first and exclusive as always here on India today. You know, he sounded like his old cynical self. He says, no setting whatsoever with either the Congress or the BJP. I will not do business with them because they are doing business with each other. That's his allegations, Sagai. 
Absolutely, and this is not something new that we get to hear from JDS. We have seen even in the past, in the year uh, uh, 2018, uh, much before the election, where they said that they are getting a majority and they will not go with any party. But after the results, we have seen that uh, it was uh, King Kumar Swami who sworn in as a chief minister along with Congress. And even in the uh, previous elections also, when mm. he joins hands with B.S. Edirappa, uh, when they joins hands with... Uh, uh, then Chief Minister Dharam Singh uh, uh, from Congress. So the history uh, clearly shows that uh, JDS always maintained before election that uh, the, 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 they will go as a single party. But uh, it is proven that they never got a majority. And uh, even uh, the politicians from both Congress and BJP realizes that JDS will not even cross more than 30 to 40 seats. And they are limited to only one particular place, probably Old Mysore region and a few parts of uh, Kolar and uh, uh, the entire house and apart from that uh, hmm. they might not get more seats in other places that is the reason the entire family would like to hijack those seats as you pointed out that Ravanas Eggerson is an MLC is Elderson is an MP and her, I, and her wife want to contest. And the yeah. problem is, Shiv, that they don't have any problem to give a ticket to her wife, uh, because his wife. But if they give a ticket to his wife, probably the Kumar Swami's wife also might demand to give a ticket to her to contest from uh, Tumkuru Rural. Correct. And uh, that is the dilemma where uh, uh, the entire family might hijack uh, the tickets of GDS. And remember, when Nikhil Gowda lost from Mandia, and mm. there was a lot of criticism from the people stating that only the family members are getting ticket to contest. And exactly. probably that is one of the setbacks why Nikhil Gowda, the son of Kumar Swami, lost when, uh, chief, uh, when Kumar Swami was the chief minister of the state. So keeping all these things in mind, JDS is trying to play a safe game saying that they will not try to give ticket to uh, Bhavani in the forthcoming election. Remember, that particular Hassan city constituency is with BJP. Yeah, and yeah. They, they, they are quite strong there and they believe that they can defeat uh, Pritam Gowda, the BJP MLA, from that particular constituency. Sagai, thank you very much for that. And now remember, HD Devagauda, who's just given us an interview, is 89 years old. Uh, you know, many believe this could be his final uh, election, as it were, as the patriarch of the JDS in Karnataka. We, of course, wish Mr. Devagauda a long and healthy and prosperous life. May he be around to fight many more elections and preside over the JDS. But uh, in most people's eyes, this could be his last active uh, you know, role as far as the JDS is concerned. He's an elderly politician, but we're glad to see in that interview in pretty good health. But the statements and counter statements that have been coming, all of them first and exclusive on India today, and I want to stress this because there is no channel with the kind of reporting credibility that India today has as far as India is concerned and most certainly as far as Karnataka is concerned. Take a look at what the HD Devagauda interview has in its wake and it all pertains to whether there is a setting between the JDS and the Congress or the BJP. Is there an understanding between BJP and Congress? Earlier, earlier a person wanted to contest to move on. Now, Yadirappa declared, my son will not contest in its What does it indicate? He never approached support. Okay. JDS. And we never had any talk with JDS people. In Congress, Congress. legislature party leader, Sidramaya, he was charging me yesterday that we have alliance with BJP. This chief minister is telling we met uh, uh, some Congress leaders in Hyderabad airport. Yeah. He had struck with the alliance with them. This is the, these two national parties' allegation about our party. Other than that, they have no issues at all to criticize JDS. Before I go to our political face-off and we're awaiting the JDS member to also join us, who's winning Karnataka according to the poll trackers that have already started buzzing out there? Remember, India Today will also have an exit poll at the end, but these are the poll trackers as far as uh, the cephologists are concerned. Now, they've thrown completely opposite predictions. C voter, very reputed, is projecting 115 to 127 seats for the Congress, 68 to 80 seats for the BJP, 23 to 35 for the JDS, and two for others. 
Matriz is projecting 88 to 98 for the Congress, 96 to 106 for the BJP, totally fractured mandate, 23 to 35 for the JDS, making them easy kingmakers and 2 to 7 for the others. Now, these trends are based on data till the 29th of last month, 29th of March. And while the predictions vary for the Congress and the BJP, both are projecting a similar seat share for the JDS and that has its own message as far as what the mood on the ground could possibly be politically speaking in poll bound Karnataka. Joining me live now for the big face off in the wake of that big interview from HD Deve Gowda, the man who could be king maker but wants to be king once again. Dr. Uh, uh, Sudha, Sudha Halkai, spokesperson of the Karnataka BJP, Kavita Reddy, uh, spokesperson of the Karnataka Congress. Welcome to you both. We're also waiting for Tanvir Ahmed of the JDS because it is, it, it is his party chief who has with this interview to India today, in many ways kind of uh, set the news agenda and we're going to get some reactions on that once he joins in. But uh, Ms. Reddy, I'd like to start off with you because uh, it was your party that was in an alliance with the JDS the last time. This time, uh, uh, this time, HD Deva Gowda says there is no question of doing business with anybody. Uh, you know, we will come to power all by ourselves. That, of course, may be political rhetoric. We need to be realistic about it. But he says something very familiar because he said this in 2018 also, madam. He basically said the BJP and the Congress are doing business with each other and that's why we cannot do business with either of them. Your first reactions, Kavita Reddy. I think, Dave Gordon, sir, I have a great respect for him, but I think it's a very... BJP. I don't know. I think it's too absurd statement to even comment, uh, you know, in a way. But the fact of the matter is, I think all the all these talks of whether Kumar Swami or Deve Gowda ji, I think it's a little too rhetoric. They also know the fact that how num what numbers are out there. Kavita ji, there's a small it. problem with your audio. I'm just going to come right back to you after fixing it. Just give me 10 seconds. Let me ask that same question to Dr. Sudha. Dr. Sudha, Mr. Yeah, Deve Gowda says we will not do business with either because they are doing business with each other. Uh, see, he told that he's not going to do business. That is well and good. And neither are we doing any business because we, uh, the Bharatiya Janata Party has done fantastic work uh, despite COVID, uh, COVID being there. And uh, you have uh, seen recently our Honorable Prime Minister had come for the inauguration of uh, seven big mega projects. I would like to tell that whatever BJP uh, party work has done, the other opposition parties can't even dream about it, forget about implementing and completing these projects. Okay, and uh, okay. take it. Okay. Sabka saath, sabka vikas, sabka prayas, and sabka vishwas. No, but are you saying? Are you saying? Not, but but but, madam, you're saying no talks on with the JDS at all because Mr. Kumaraswamy in his interview to India Today says both sides have reached out to me. Both sides have reached see, out. To me. He has confirmed see, let me, that let, there are talks. Let me on. tell you. Let, let me tell you one thing. See, whatever uh, decisions are going to be made, it is going to be made uh, by our uh, party high command. And one thing. The work which is done by Bharatiya Janata Party uh, doesn't need any uh, approach to any other opposition party. Okay. So even the people of Karnataka are wise enough to understand who has done the work in the past history. You take it, take it, uh, DPIIT, DP, uh, take it, NITI, and take it, number of airports. It is more than uh, Rajasthan, whereas Rajasthan is having the highest uh, three, okay, lakh, okay. three lakh land area is there. Half okay, Karnataka, you made your point, you made your point. You're saying, it. you're saying your yeah. work speaks for itself and you don't need to do business with others. But the yeah, interesting yeah. thing is, the interesting thing is, which our viewers also know is, business has been done before. So it's not like history, uh, you know, history does not have a record of business having been done between uh, you know all of your parties tanvir welcome good to see you after a long time and it we'll is go all to, and buts. I, I understand what you're saying ma'am i'll go to dr kavita also in just a moment but but, but uh, to kavita also in a moment uh, tanvir you know i'm getting a huge sense of deja vu tanvir okay and i'm sure you are also getting that same feeling because last year in 2018 around the same time i remember we had you on a debate and i asked you the same question and i'm going to ask you that same question again sort of because at that time the jds had said the same thing that the bjp and the congress are the a team and b team of each other they are in cahoots they are working with each other and that we will not do any business with them and then your party went and did business with the congress party to form the government and mr kumar swami became the chief minister what has changed this time mr deve gowda now says the business is happening and we will not touch them. What's going on? 
see we really understood that uh, bjp and uh, congress they want to come to power i mean the, 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 they they want to rule the people of uh, karnataka we mm. want to serve them that's absolutely a difference we are the only kannadiga party the last kannadiga party which is really existing who wants to fight for the kannadiga cause we don't have rhetorics like you know uh, half completed projects and somebody is really doing the uh, badge of honor thing that you know we have done we don't have that badge of honor of uh, 40% commission we don't have uh, people uh, uh, ainur manjunath coming out of no no BJP but tanvi the, all that is fine tanvi all that is fine i you, all of your parties i'm sure you know will only like to put your best foot forward i am talking about the what's happening behind the scenes because uh, your party shift. chief mr kumar kumaraswamy says both sides <laughs> have reached out to me both sides want to have a pre poll alliance let let me not really sound uh, let me be candid i have both sides have really ca came with a begging ball i'm not actually uh, i'm being very candid candid enough because i am witness to it i'm absolutely a witness to it both have really reached out both have really got a sense that they are not going to be at the ruling uh, uh, that the, uh, the, they are not going to get that magic number without us nobody can really form the government we are definitely really yes Do dr sudha pointed answer pointed answer not about airports we know, we have covered all the airports man pointed answer tanvir ahmed of the jds says your party and the bjp have both come with begging balls he's he's used that word not yeah. me let them use anything it hardly matters because you know the our work speaks our work uh, speaks what it exactly it is and uh, we are uh, very much uh, uh focused on the coming elections and we know that we are going to win with majority the uh, question doesn't arise i really arise i really like the dr sudha i'm sure you know she is new to politics and she is really trained to speak what she is trained to speak because for well, i'm so sure I'm that not, she really no, no, don't sir. understand see, see, a, she, no, as, i mean as, my sister my dear sister person, my dear sister my dear sister let me answer let me speak you know you don't really understand what's happening behind the scene because bjp is multi layered party until i mean unlike our our party it is multi layered you are actually down there and i'm sure one day you would really also understand understand what is the importance of politics being out there but however i just want to tell you that we have reposted our confidence not to have any pre poll alliance not to have any pre poll adjustment with anybody we are tanvir going... you said this last time as well tanvir you said yes. this last time we as well neither do we have <laughs> Come on we, do we have Kavita we, Reddy is Kavita Reddy with us Okay Ka Kavita Reddy we've lost that line unfortunately the congress spokesperson's uh, line has dropped but yes Tanvir come on you said this the last time as well and we are going to the people of Karnataka not to the doorstep of any political party like them like those political parties which are standing at our doorstep we are going to go to the people of Karnataka Sir, so, we have already gone to the people of Karnataka. We have given them everything, all the basic necessities that two in lakhs, double-digit lakhs, and Do Doctor Sudha, you know, them. one thing we is different. We are just not talking. Doctor Sudha, one thing is different between this year and 2018, which is that in 2018, I remember that the BJP was accusing the Congress and JDS uh, of being in cahoots. The Congress was accusing the BJP and JDS of being in cahoots, <laughs> and the JDS was accusing the BJP and the Congress of being in cahoots. Man, Tanvir, here this your year, line got connected. Disconnected. This year, only one yes, of those hello. facts is true, Doctor Sudha. This year, only the JDS yeah, is making that allegation. The BJP and the Congress are being very careful. You are not accusing See, what, the JDS of doing sir, business with we, anyone. We, I am telling you, the JDS, whatever number of seats they are uh, claiming they'll get, it is not even one fourth of two hundred and twenty seats. so forget about it and the work i'm telling you i'm telling you repeatedly again and again take it kerala it is it has got a 7 7 uh, rupees 20 paisas more for petrol take it uh, other state tamil nadu 3 rupees uh, more it is for petrol and take it uh, karnataka we have given the best in everything so the question doesn't arise for us to go in front of somebody we have done our work uh, fantastically we have done our work in, okay. in spite of covid i am telling you two years of covid it was an isolation for the whole world and so was it for karnataka also in spite of that we have not given any reasons and we have completed the works and reached to the people for every needy thing in uh, to the to the poorest of the poor people take it farmers uh, take it increasing the quota for the scst uh, take it uh, uh, the scholarship for the farmer uh, children and uh, uh, construction of 45 lakhs uh, toilets and 
there is n number of things and first and foremost i really feel proud that for the first time in uh, karnataka uh, by uh, mr uh, honorable chief minister basaraj bommai ji and uh, mr uh, murgesh nirani ji i think 10 lakh crores of invest investment have come in the karnataka global meet and 56% of it madam 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 all, all these been, things um, are you know yeah. I, i appreciate what you're doing i you know i know in election time one has to read out your manifesto and your achievements that's fine that's okay all of you will do it i i appreciate that that is your job it, as a politician done, I, i am no, saying no, 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 i, no, I no, am I'm simply saying it. It is see a, i am not yeah. i am also not asking a uh, you know uh, outlandish question am i tanvir you know see you the jds is also punching beyond its weight you are also doing this whole thing of we will come to power on our own numbers uh, you know let us be a little realistic the jds is never going to come to power on its own numbers tanvir one has to be a little realistic at the most you will either be king maker or you will be king like you were in 2018 tanvir can you hear me what a pity i can't i think tanvir can't hear me can you hear me tanvir can tanvir hear me i'm going to try and fix this in just a moment uh, dr sudha also bear with me we are facing a lot of audio issues for some reason uh, in bengaluru this evening i'm going to come back to that because i've just come ba- i've just come down to a very very important point uh, and i want to play out for you once again what mr hd devegowda has said he has said something extremely significant remember he's 89 years old he's battling a lot of internal family turmoil within the jds but the jds can most definitely not be ignored or overlooked in this election because both the political trackers prestigious political trackers that you know look at the mood and generate data of a political party's performance are giving the jds the same numbers between 25 and 30 in two political trackers while they're giving exactly the opposite for both the bjp and the congress what does that tell you what that basically tells you is that the jds has held its ground it's not gained very much but it's also not lost very much uh, tanvir my question to you and i hope you can hear me is that you know one has to be a little realistic uh, you know of course there is going to be a time for rhetoric in rallies etc but the jds is never going to come to power by itself in karnataka tanvir come on you are either going to be king maker or you will be king like in 2018 what is wrong with that if uh, we know the reality but whatever it is the people of karnataka are going to be uh, going to see kumar swami as chief minister i will come to your channel on 16th of may and 18th of may we would celebrate together kumar swami is going to be the chief minister i that don't want to that may very well be my friend that may all. very well be that may very well be but i am uh, i am wondering is kumar swami going to be the chief minister with the bjp or the congress party that's the question here he may very kumar well be swami. the cm uh, uh, shiv it is uh, we will cross the bridge when we are there but we want to really fight both the parties equally and we would decide on 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 on, on our decision definitely uh, uh, on 16th we would be everybody in the country and uh, in karnataka would definitely know about it the only See, thing which we are working is the kumar swami is is the only able leader who can really uh, uh, wipe the tears of kannadigas who can really work for the cause of kannadigas and the only and last political party which is working for to uh, in betterment of kannadigas is jds and there is no other party which can really do a better service than kumar swami as a chief minister candidate I don't so think I want to really Dr. Sudha I, I don't know if you yeah, yeah. Dr Sudha yeah, I don't know I don't know if you I don't know if you missed a couple of very important words used by Tanvir he said we will I, I cross would, that would, bridge I, I we will cross that yes, bridge when we get to it very very telling pe- few yes. words where he said which basically keeps the door open see look you, you know we can go back and forth <coughs> and take a very strong position saying we are not doing business but the fact is in 2018 business was done in 2013 you know there were all kinds of discussions happening before that also discussions have happened it's not like business has not been done so it is even the public and the voters in karnataka know very well that the jds might ultimately be the deciding factor in karnataka so the jds is not untouchable to your party ma'am see let me tell you what mr amay brother tanvir has just told now see if they can dream without uh, doing what work has been done by uh, bhartiya janata party then what not we should dream about it huh? with having so much of majority of uh, we are expecting to Ma'am, come up with dreams are delectable so but reality of, is quite harsh <laughs> dreams are very delectable sir, reality sir, we, is harsh 
reality the question of reality doesn't come only the reality is bjp is yes exactly the question of reality is reality because people out there are watching your reality ishwar appa ainur manjunath are fighting on the street one at a time one at a time one at a time no ainur manjunath and ishwar appa are fighting on the street they 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 are fighting on the street we are not what accusing and politics? abusing each other no, no, we are no, not no, accusing no, no, no. and abusing whatever. each other no. we are See, saying lot somebody, of channels are politics showing. is a game lot of aspirations are... politics yeah, is a game of going... aspiration yeah. bhavani yeah, revanna no, has an aspiration the same, no. so be... Aspir- politics is aspiration only for jds not for bjp how is it possible There okay. is lot of family politics over there. It's not there in uh, Bharatiya Janata Party. We give rights to each and every individual, irrespective of caste and creed. Forget about family. This is Bharatiya Janata Party. Final, final word to the both of you because the both of you might be on the same side. Theoretically speaking, fifty percent chance of that after the election. We don't know what's <laughs> going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen. I, you, you know, the thing is, the thing is, after after the elections, nobody knows what's going to happen. You have said you will cross that bridge when you get to it. Either, either Tanvir, you will be on the same side as Dr. Sudha, or you will be on the same side as the Congress. We don't know what's going to happen, but that possibility is there. And no matter what you guys say, the public, public, sab janta hai. Public sab janta hai in Karnataka. Janta sab janta hai, and they have seen it also. Tanvir. Last word. Not only seeing, they I, have benefited uh, just, from all the national uh, schemes. Okay. Like, like I said, I I want to repeat. There is only one chief minister candidate which is really come in out in public. BJP is doesn't have a face. Congress doesn't want to disclose their face. The only chief minister candidate, and we would really expect the people of Karnataka has done the 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 contributions which was done during the time of Kumar Swami both. Uh, Kumar Kumar Swami being the chief minister first time and second time, we again hope that people of Karnataka are going to give us enough numbers through which we can really go and 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 we can dictate terms for betterment of Karnataka. I will give the. I will give. We don't encourage family politics here, so we leave it to our high commands. I will give the last the word. CM. I will give the last word to I will give the last word to Kavita Reddy because unfortunately she has missed the entire debate because of a sound issue but she is back with us Kavita my personal apologies for that uh, technical glitch but I'll give you the last word I'll let you speak for a whole minute ma'am which is the is your party willing to do business with the JDS once again like it did in 2018 the JDS says we are not going to touch any party that the BJP and the Congress are in cahoots with each other your response ma'am I mean, I think that's very silly of uh, you know Tanvir, who is a great friend of mine, to say that you know how can BJP and Congress be together? So it's it's like too absurd and too silly to say one. The second thing is we're absolutely not going to do business with JDS. It's very clear. Yes, we did business with them earlier. They also did business with BJP. So they cannot come uh, come and claim uh, glory uh, saying that they did not do business with anybody. They did business business with both the. parties at uh, two different times yeah and given yeah. the fact that all the all the survey reports and the now we are, our list is already out 124 today or tomorrow we are going to announce another 80 seats mm. so we are already you know from the last one year you can see the trend is very clear that we are winning this uh, with this uh, karnataka battle we are going to cross 130 is what our uh, mark is and we are going to working towards that and uh, you know Uh, for kumar swami to come and claim that you know somebody is coming and begging i think that's a very uh, absurd statement to make there is nothing called begging in politics it's about <laughs> people so don't use that word very loosely because it just doesn't show good good about anybody you know in politics is sometimes an art of possibility that doesn't mm. uh, you know that doesn't should be uh, should not be used as a word begging it's I... very unfortunate you use that especially from a party which has given one the prime minister from karnataka um so the fact remains is that we are doing good and our survey reports are extremely well we did not have problem with the 124 list which has come out and we are hoping that we are, with the momentum which has built from the last one and a half year we will build and we'll expose the bjp's 40% okay. corruption and the mismanagement and the and the kind of uh, lawlessness which they have created in the state okay. uh, and that's what Now- our agenda Going to be positive agenda towards a better Karnataka and to come back to power as a standalone party. Dis- despite all the very strong and admirable positions taken by all of you, I have heard some sub- subliminal messaging from you. Kavita says 
uh, politics is the art of the possible. Tanvir has said we will cross that bridge when we get to it. Uh, I think Dr. Sudha is the only one who has stood her ground and said we are not going to do business with anyone. But I have a feeling on May 13th or 14th or 15th, whenever it is, at least the two of you are going to be on friendlier terms than you are today on India Today. So we'll have to see how that actually flies. All the best to all your three parties. India Today will be covering the election like nobody else. Thank you very much, Dr. Thank Sudha, so Kavita much. Reddy so and much. Tanvir Ahmad here on India Today. Well, that's debate number one here on Five Live. Coming up on the other side, Donald Trump is in New York City to begin Judgment Day. Will he be arrested? Will he be handcuffed? All of those questions have answers. We'll take you live to New York City next.